Hello! Do it! It's, uh, it's Thursday, uh, March the 28th. Episode 5. five. Rather than start at Tralee where we finished last night, we've got a ride down the road, so we're starting at Farron 4. We are. The sun's out. It's really sunny. It's so sunny. <laughs> Where are we going today, Vicky? Uh, we're going to Cork. We're doing the commuter network around Cork, which includes includes the beautiful cove. Where they have trains that are a little bit like sprinters, which you could argue are a little bit like pacers. <gasps> what? Just, just putting it out there. <laughs> this is the first time you've mentioned this. To the trains. To, to the pacers. says look Jeff there's the mountain pretty view you get the camera and then the trees come every time, every time. how does that happen <laughs> Where are we going today, Jeff? It's very simple. I'm going to come along the line back from Trilly, Farron 4. I'm going to change at Mallow, come down to Cork, and at Cork, this little network here is known as the Cork sort of commuter network. And we go on to little small trains, which I'm excited to see. And we go to Middleton uh, and Cove, C O B H, Cove. And we're going to we're going to meet someone, we're just going to hang out on this little, it's like a Cork's got its little own suburban train network and we're going to explore that for the day. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks. Hi. Made it back to Mallow. Mallow? Mallow. I'm Irish. Half an hour wait here. I hope there's a post box so I can post some postcards. Until we get our Cork train. Have you seen what's at the end of the platform? Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> You found a bell. I found a bell, um, which dates back to the 1950s. When sadly, a depot man was killed by a train arriving from Cork. It was decided to put a bell in each signal box, which would be rung to alert passengers and staff that trains were coming. And so this bell is from the south signal box, although they call it a cabin, and their bells were replaced in the 90s by uh, a siren. It's the waiting room at Mallow and it's just full of old photos and paraphernalia and when it's won best station awards over the year. If you're ever at Mallow, go into the waiting room. Hello, this is Tim. Um, Tim, you've worked here how long? 36 years. 36? Yeah. And, and we saw a picture of you in the waiting room receiving an award for the best station. Best station awards, yeah. How, how, how did you win it? Flowers oh. and cleanness. Yeah. And is it something you, you do personally? Obvious, yeah, 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 obvious. Amazing. Yeah, obvious. And um, why did you start working on railways? I don't know, just, just a job. <laughs> you know? Just a job, Lee. Amazing. And have you always worked at stations? Yeah, yeah. I was here. Always I here? Was here yeah, yeah. I, I think this gentleman wanted to get through to him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Otherwise, he's not going to get to drive a train, right? <laughs> might be our train he's driving. <laughs> have you got any more train questions? No, I've got loads of train questions. Okay. But, but, but we've got to go and catch our oh, train okay. because it's due in in like five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, platform number two. Two, platform two. two. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Note to Irish Rail. Mallow is lovely, but it could really do with some dot matrix indicators. Just saying. I'm worried that we're about to get on the blue train again to Cork. And then it's all going to get a bit matrix again, <laughs> you know, with, with the tinted blue. I hope it is a blue train. So Michelle, we'll have some fun. We're on the blue 
Hugh Tinted Train, and the gag we made was that it's like in the Matrix where everything, in post, they gave everything like a green tint. So we should have some fun here. So let's make it like the Matrix. Michelle, do add a little bit of green, like now. Add a little bit more green. A bit more green. That's too much, it's too much, it's too much. You went too far, Michelle. You went too far. Hello, cork. And already in the distance, I can see a little cork commuter train. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's probably the nearest thing in Ireland that you'll get to a pacer. Are you just trying to like appease me? Yeah. But yeah. really it's nothing like a pacer. I don't, well, I don't know. I've never been on one in my life, so I don't know. Excellent station roof. Oh, look at that. Good roof, Cork. Well done. Good, well done, Cork. Yeah. Good roof. I like how it curves. It's got the grace of York. York curves, doesn't it? Doesn't Newcastle curve? It's got the roof of Preston, or I want to say Darlington, but with the curve of, actually no, Bristol Temple Meads curves as well. But it's Cork. Ignore all those. It's Cork. It, it, remi it reminds me of Cork. It's very Cork-like. I'm hilarious. Is it like a pacer? I don't think it is. It doesn't look anything like a pacer, Jeff. It's like a sprinter. Hang on. I'm trying to take a photo of every train. You're in my shot. You, you, you're more in my shot. Okay, the train's leaving in a minute and I need a photo. What's it like? But it is a new maquette. Do it. Vicky actually got a carriage ahead of me, so I'm just running down. This is Little Island Station. Little Island Station. Little Island Station. Where did Vicky go? There she is. Have you Instagrammed the maquette picture yet? <laughs> yes. It's a good one. Also, cup holders. So sadly I don't have a tea, but I did have some water. For your convenience. We're at uh, I can't pronounce it. Glon Glon Glonthain. Glonthorn. And we've found an innovative use for the cup holders because we've run been running up a Twitter poll this morning uh, on all the social Twitter. Do you prefer Barry's tea or Lion's tea? And we have the current answer for you. I think there's a clear winner. How long has the poll got left? Uh, a day. A day. So it could it could change. No, I don't think it could. station. We appear to be in some wilderness and I looked on the map and we are indeed next to like a nature reserve. I'm 
outside on the stairs of what was the White Star offices and it's where the last passengers to board the Titanic would have come to sign up to register and to get on board the ship. At the back of the building is the old jetty which passengers would have had to walk along to catch a tender kind of shuttle boat service that took them over to the Titanic which was anchored a little bit further out into the bay. There almost seems to be stairs. So right at the top of the hill here, just by the cathedral, you can see an incredible view across the harbour. Uh, that includes Spike Island, which has been many things in its past, a military base, uh, but perhaps most famously it's known for being a prison. Um, it's now a tourist attraction, so you can visit the prison, have a look around. It's kind of like the Alcatraz of Ireland. Incidentally, Coleman's Cathedral um, is thought to be one of the tallest buildings in Ireland. Cove is also linked to the story of the Lusitania, which was travelling between America and Liverpool. And just off the coast of Cove here, it was torpedoed by a German U-boat. And it was the sinking of the Lusitania which drew America into the First World War. We're on the platforms of Glanton, and I hope I'm saying it right because I'm about to chat to a man who should have learned how to pronounce his words because he's an Englishman but he moved over here many years ago so he sounds Irish to me. Uh, Michael got in touch to say I'm a tour guide uh, if you want some help around the Cork area and I can give you a few facts and I'm delighted to say he's here right now. Hello Michael. Hello, good Hi afternoon. Jeff. How do you do? How are you doing? Uh, I have to ask straight away uh, why does an Englishman move to Ireland? My family is Irish, so I moved back to Ireland 20 odd years ago. I went to study here, I met my wife, and I'm living here ever since. I want to ask you about the train service. You've obviously driven here today. I used to train maybe once a month to go to Dublin for work. I, I used it at least weekly for a long while. Been huge improvements in Ireland in recent years, you've probably noticed as you've been travelling around, you know, fairly new trains and fairly on time most of the time, so we can't complain too much, it's well, a good we, service. I'm assuming you get back to Britain now and then. Now and then, yeah. How do you think the railways compare between Britain and Ireland? Obviously the system is a lot more extensive, especially in some of the built-up areas of England, um, but you know, there's a lot, you know, a lot of similarities at the end of the day, getting people in and out of the city. I don't find it quite as congested. Um, in the areas I'm living in, whereas, you know, of course in Dublin the commuter trains I'm sure are very congested, but I haven't been in as many stations as yourselves, so still to do a few. <laughs> as a tour guide, you do stuff all over Ireland, mm -hmm. so what's one brilliant thing that we'd never have known unless we'd have met you at that island? When you get to the, the west coast of Ireland, to the Cliffs of Moher, uh, you have to take the coastal walk along the, the coast there, a lot of people miss that. It's just a, such spectacular scenery overlooking the cliffs there, or maybe even a boat trip under the cliffs. You should do that. Thank you so much. No problem. Pleasure. <laughs> so Vicky, you've explored Cove. I have. Michael, yes. really your sign should have said all the stations taxi. Yeah. Very poor. Look at our... Look at our Dirty it's like speed. it's like getting a taxi. Speed. Let's, speed. Do Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do We're it. Doing it. Let's We're do it. it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. To Middleton or Carrick to Hill. I'll look at the timetable. It's not a hill. You don't pronounce the H. I don't think. Carrick to Hill. Michael's driven us to Middleton. It's 2:43. The train leaves at 2:45. It's an hourly service, and we're we don't want to have to sit around for another hour. Is this the station? Michael, get us as close to the station entrance as you can, and we'll see you at Carrick Tuil. Okay. Yeah, are we going to make it? We go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. It's there. It's there. We're going to make it. 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 See there, Michael. Go. 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 We made it. We made the train. It's just like tube challenge. <laughs> Have you got your train ticket? Uh, I think so, yeah. Sweet. And we'll see Michael one stop down the line at Carrick Tuil, and that will complete our, all our stations for the day. Got an arty shot. Do you know what? 
We started the video with the mirror shot. We did. So surely we'll end the day with a mirror shot. Uh, I don't know if we can be seen. <laughs> Thanks for watching. My all, retinas. All the stations. <laughs> We're at Carrick Two Hill. That is the Cork Suburban Carrick Network. Tool. Carrick Tool. Thank you for subscribing. All that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video tomorrow, whenever that is. Take care. <laughs> bye. 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 Are you still filming? Yes. This is the biggest waste of film ever. Here, <laughs> imagine if it was acetate film. Acetate? Do you mean celluloid? You said like overhead projector. Oh, Michelle, type. don't use any of this. Uh, well, do it in a very choppy Casey Neistat style vlog. Just get in the car. I'm silhouetted, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>